Hello, my name's Drew and I'm the Assistant Manager at Pegsworth. So the role of a residential support worker is pretty much acting in the parenting role. So it's pretty mundane stuff like getting the young people out of bed, getting them ready for school, uh, getting them off to school. Obviously, if, uh, if it's weekends or holidays, you'll be doing activities with the young people and stuff. But yeah, we pretty much act in a, a parenting role. So everything you would encounter in your own home, that and a little bit more as well. For me, the most rewarding thing is sometimes when you go out with the children and for that first time, you do something with them that they've never done before or never experienced before. An example of this would be um, coming back one night from being out in the woods and we saw an owl and a shooting star. And those moments are just magical because that child hadn't experienced them before. This was probably one of the most enjoyable roles that I had because it was when I, you have the most contact with the young people. You were able to be inventful about the activities you do. And during that time, I did things from wild camping, canoeing, um, abseiling, co-steering, um, managing to support children to go to the football matches, dropping children off at cubs and scouts, um, finding new interests for young people to, to do. and. Uh, and then also, but not forgetting that there is an element of paperwork that needs to be done to demonstrate what we're doing. But uh, the role for me, within my 27 years experience, was probably the, the most enjoyable time that I have. I don't think I've um, had so many laughs at, at work um, when I was a support worker. And that isn't with the, the adults that I was working with, that was with the children and young people that I was supporting. Like any other, family household and um, not every day is going to be perfect there's ups there's downs tears laughing it's not your kind of run-of-the-mill job say where you're dealing with numbers and it adds up the, the certain number at the end of the day you're dealing with people and human emotions so that is the most rewarding aspect that you get to deal with people and you get to help them on their own journeys the most rewarding thing for me was whenever anybody said that a child in care couldn't experience something i would always challenge that and uh, ask that question of, well, if it was my child, I'd want my child to be able to experience that. And I don't think um, care experienced children should be any different to that. We let you get outside a lot. Um, that could be anything like going on walks, um, going to the beach, we like cooking, work and cook our tea on the beach, on the camping stoves. Um, we can go stargazing. We've, played spotlights so or like hide and seek on the beach in the dark with some torches, that's really fun. Um, and geocaching, I didn't know what geocaching was before I started this job, but I love that as well. I mean, if you've got something that really excites you, then that excitement will be picked up on by the children. So we have one child that, you know, likes to play the guitar, so the member of staff that he actually gravitates to is a member of staff that's in a band. Um, we've got other children that love football. We've got a member of staff who's a football coach so he's bought all the coaching gear so you can actually coach the children in-house um, and then other staff who have the passion of cooking and great skill because then that brings it on to independence for them so there's nothing that you really can't do you've just got to get the risk assessment through and if you're really determined you will the experience is an opportunity to come to work and play and enjoy is absolutely fantastic and as I say I would never have changed anything that's happened in the 27 years I've worked with young people. You can see potential, loads of potential, and it's just getting them to make the choices to reach their potential. This job, you get out of it what you put into it. If you invest in the young people and you care about them, the rewards you get at the end are, are limitless. 